Hey. Um, great talk. So the it looks like the genes that came out of your screen and the drugs that you used uh, that eliminate the green cells are primarily histone um, modification inhibitors. So is that just a generic solution to this problem, or were you, were you able to find something that's very specific to the AXL NGFR pathway so you could just target that pathway rather than treating a whole patient with a histone modification inhibitor? Yeah, I mean, that's, okay, well, Okay, they're the hits from our screen, which tend to actually be, well, okay, I didn't get into the details. We actually ran two different screens. So one was for just pure resistance and one was for variability, and it's interesting to sort of cross compare the two um, for reasons I won't get into here. But um, what we found is that the hits actually span a broad range of, uh, of potential targets. So, there are a lot of hits that are transcription factors. There are a lot of hits that are signaling pathways. There are a lot of hits that are epigenetic factors and so forth. Um, the issue is what can you drug? And you just can't drug the transcription factors. So, and the signaling hits, um, some of them showed some effect. And, and we've actually even shown some of them before, like EGFR inhibitor can also inhibit resistance and in certain ways. It ends up clinically being toxic, the, that particular combination. Uh, perhaps for these reasons, I'm not sure. Um, so I guess I wouldn't read too much into the fact that we, I, I showed a few examples of those, except that they happen to be ones for which we could drug, uh, which sort of biases, I think, the interpretation maybe. But I, we had a range of hits that spanned a bunch of different classes of things. In fact, it was sort of hard to narrow it down, even to particular signaling pathways, it seems like. You know, there's a lot of hippo pathway stuff. Um, as well as, you know, MAP kinase, obviously, and, and various other kind of hits all over the place. So, uh, so, so yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't read too much into that. But yes, there were some uh, epi epigenetic factors that seemed to, to play a role, a causal role. 